Hi everybody, I'm Padma Lakshmi and I'm going to be reading Always Anjali for this very special read-along. It is by Sheetal Seth with illustrations by Jessica Blank and I'm doing this with my friends at Conscious Kid and we are trying to raise up Asian American voices. So thanks for joining me today and uh, let's get started. Once upon a restless night, a little girl named Anjali lay wide awake in her bed. She was turning seven and she had super important business on her mind, bikes. All she wanted was one of her own. Finally, the sun rose and Anjali sprung out of bed. She zoomed downstairs right past her mom, not stopping until she found herself in front of a large box. She closed her eyes, took a deep breath and carefully opened it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, she said. It's perfectly stupendous, just like a race car. Anjali cheered as she took a spin around the kitchen. Can I take it to the school carnival this afternoon? Anjali hit the brakes at her mom's feet. Please, please, pretty please. Anjali's face lit up when her mom nodded. After school, Anjali and her best friends, Mary and Courtney, were riding their bikes together around the carnival. Mary spotted a booth that was selling personalized license plates. Awesome, we should all get matching plates for our bikes. Superb. Anjali and Courtney agreed as they made their way to the booth. Mary and Courtney found theirs right away. Anjali looked and looked. Anjali asked if they had any more plates somewhere else. Sorry, kid, the cashier grumbled. Can you please check, Anjali pleaded. The cashier muttered, what's your name? Anjali, huh? Spell it, A-N-J-A-L-I. The cashier chuckled and tossed a plate in front of Anjali. Anjali suddenly heard one of the older boys, Zachary, snickering. They're not gonna have a plate for someone like you, Angeli. Anjali's face got hot. Peanut butter and jelly. Can I get a peanut butter and jelly with a dot on top? Then she heard laughter. Peanut butter and jelly. Can I get a peanut butter and jelly? More classmates had joined Zachary. Anjali blinked back tears. At dinner that night, Anjali cleared her throat. <clears throat> I am changing my name to Angie, she announced. Anjali, why would you do that? Your name is beautiful, Anjali's dad assured her. No, it isn't. It's embarrassing. And it's Angie, Anjali cried. Your name is a very important part of who you are, Anjali's mom said. Exactly, Anjali said defiantly. And no one has heard of it. No one can spell it. And frankly, I hate it. You are not changing your name, Anjali's dad said firmly. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Anjali burst into tears and ran to her room. Anjali, you do know we picked your name out especially for you. From the moment we saw you, we knew you needed a special name for a special girl, a name whose meaning would capture your spirit. My name means something? Anjali peeked her head out. Her mother nodded. What, what does it mean? Anjali challenged her mom. Anjali is a gift the most precious kind, divine, just like you. Where does it mean that? Anjali asked doubtfully. In India, in Sanskrit. My name, your dad's name, all our family names are from India. India is an enchanting place full of magic and brilliance and power. Be proud of who you are, Anjali. To be different, is to be marvelous. Hmm, Anjali mumbled. Anjali awoke in the middle of the night with a start. She bolted out of bed with a mission. She turned on a little lamp and got to work. An hour later, and with the final touches done, she reviewed her creation one last time. The next day at school, Mary and Courtney were waiting for Anjali with a box. Anjali opened the box, and to her surprise, she found an Anjali license plate. We made you one exactly like ours. You guys aren't going to believe this, Anjali teased gleefully. She pulled the license plate she had made out of her backpack. 
Mary and Courtney squealed. Their classmates walked over, wondering what was causing all the commotion. When they saw the special license plate Anjali made, everyone wanted one that would be just as one of a kind. Wow, you made that? Love those colors and how you drew those letters. I've never seen anything like it. What are those beautiful gem-like things? They're called bindis. Cool, can you make one for me that no one will have too? After school, when Zachary spotted Anjali, he yelled, Hey, Angeli, did you have a peanut butter Angeli for lunch? He burst out laughing. Anjali took a deep breath and stood up straight. Looking right at Zachary, she quipped, They're the best kind. She hopped on her bike and whizzed past Zachary and his friends. She had places to go and didn't have time for foolishness. She knew there was greatness in not being one of the crowd. She vowed to always be Anjali. And that is always Anjali. I hope you guys enjoyed this really special read along. It's important to uplift Asian American voices and it's important to remember that the Asian American community is a strong vital force in this country and no kind of hate Asian hate or otherwise belongs in our society. Thank you for tuning along and thank you Conscious Kid for letting me read with you today. Always Anjali.